an interview with Marie Ward Russell by Alita Overton. Marie Ward Russell is an author of young adult novels, notably The Castle Trilogy and Roses at Dark. Visual art is a, is a draw that pulls us in and makes us think, whether it's a painting hanging on a wall, a computer screen background, or the cover of a book. It's a medium that wakes up our imagination and makes us want to go out, to go out there and explore new things and search new ideas or sometimes make or sometimes just helps us relax. In mass media nowadays, this ensures we have imagination in a fast changing climate. This is relevant today in the publishing industry, whether an ebook online or a paperback on a shelf. The art on the cover yells a story that makes us want to explore more. I think initially everyone was afraid of the impact this had on the overall industry itself. Writers became worried that it somehow cheapened their hard work, and from a functional level, it certainly removed a lot of costs, allowing pretty much anyone to throw a book or artwork online. Like anything new, there has been that honeymoon period where the online versions took off, causing print sales to take a dive. But I think now, as technological as the technological kinks have been ironed out, and places like Amazon, the most positive example, have become so efficient, it is starting to even out, and most people are now seeing a place for both mediums. In a positive light, it allows more wonderful writers and artists the opportunity to share their talents with a broader audience where a stale industry wouldn't have allowed that in the past. People would be the most graphic example, whether through advertising, entertainment, extortion. When we think of overused or repetitive images, we most often think of Coca-Cola or Apple, but in reality, the online mass explore, exploitation of actors, musicians, artists, and sports people are the most rechanneled resource. Within the writing industry, I think fictitious characters and subsequent movie actors of some famous novels would be the best example. Harry Potter and the Twilight series are two glowing examples of how the sleepy world of books can come to life through imagery. Exor exorbitant sales, movie franchises, and merchandising both in the stores and online are, an are on an astronomical. J.R.R. Tolkien. Everyone thinks of him as, a, as, a, as an amazing writer with the Lord of the Rings and others, but for me, it, it was his artwork that captivated me at the start. His stories were all the more richer by his astonishing graphics with his intricate with their intricate nature and bold uses of color, including his carefully craft, crafted maps.